full send or should I wait for that pickup truck? What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, I know what you guys said. So, full send, I guess. YouTube Adventure family, in this episode, I will show you what happened on my way to a beach cleanup at Penn's. If you haven't seen that episode, I invite you to do so. Just click on the notification at the top right part of your screen. Before I get into this video, I want to remind you that I'm not an expert at anything and I'm learning all the time. I love telling stories through my little videos, so perhaps I can entertain you and you can make up your own mind as we go along for the ride. The reason why I want to access that area is uh, not because I want to mess around, but because I'm trying to trying to see if I can document and help out with this cleanup and perhaps bring a little awareness to this area in a positive way. But uh, I really don't know. I've never been back here, so but I do see that this unmaintained road is pretty well traveled um, as you can see there's plenty of fresh tracks here I just don't know how it is that you can actually get back there so we'll see we'll see very easy to drive smooth I mean it's off-road still but come on you know um, no mud nothing like that heck I don't even think at this point I wouldn't need four by four it's a little mud right here but nothing special although we're kind of getting to a, a soft spot, or it looks to be a soft spot back here. And I don't know. I wonder if I should uh, even give it a try or not. Huh. Let's see. Let's see what we can what we can do here. Oh my goodness, guys! It is. Oh, the, the mosquitoes! The mosquitoes are insane out here insane but uh carrying my off here look i don't know i don't know if the camera will pick it up but look look at the trasheroo look at how bad that is oh my god they are eating me alive let me see if i can the mosquitoes are crazy uh, oh my god guys take it easy I know I'm delicious, but please take it easy on poor Uncle Robert here. Dang it. Damn, this is bad. Okay, guys, so let's make a, let's do a little assessment here. Huh. I don't know. It doesn't seem that bad. I guess if I take this line right here I'm not gonna go straight that way I'll probably just go around this way over here and uh, that should give me access I think the trail goes on that way and hopefully hopefully that'll get me access to get to the edge there and join that cleanup that's on the that's on the north side I'm gonna give it a try here. Outside, it's uh, terrible mosquitoes. I don't see anyone out here, so let's give this a try, man. You see what happens? You see what happens when my wife doesn't join me? Yeah, 
I get into this uh, type of stuff, huh? Well, here we go. <clears throat> So far so good, just a little mud, no big deal, oh no, I should have walked it over this way, huh, I wonder where that, where this road leads me, and uh, if I should just do a full sand through here, or that's going to be a stupid mistake. I don't know. I'm hoping. Oh, I see a truck over there. That's awesome. There's another vehicle coming. So, uh, let's give this a try. I want to see if uh, I can wait for that guy to show up over here. Or I can just do a full send and give it a try. Full send, or should I wait for that pickup truck? What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, I know what you guys said. So, full send, I guess. Let's roll! Yeah, we made that. How about this one? We made this one, making it. Oh, this is, this is, uh some decent mud right here we made it we made it I better get my my poor GoPro man I think my GoPro is a little jacked let me go see Wow, check out the GoPro. A little, got a little muddy. Damn. All right, let's clean that up. And hopefully we can get a little bit more. Here comes another little part over here. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, no. Guys, I think we're stuck. Woo! All right. Well, before we get any worse. I think I should have taken this other line. yeah yeah that's what happens guys so we have two vehicles out here two vehicles yeah but you know what we're gonna get out of here we're gonna do this we're i know fine. what you guys are thinking but honestly i was very puzzled myself i didn't know the people in the black chevy i never asked the driver why he made the decision to try to go past me i guess it didn't matter at that point since we were both stuck and he had his family with him. Instead of theorizing, we decided to work together fast. So, two vehicles out here stuck. We do have the Max Tracks. The gentlemen are getting the Max Tracks out and I'm gonna get the, the shovel as well, just in case. Una en una llanta, así metida, y la otra en la the plan was to use the Max Tracks and shovel to get Sandy out. And then I was going to try and use my kinetic rope 
and snatch strap to pull out Polo, the driver of the black Chevy. We cleared some mud with a shovel, positioned the recovery boards, and lowered the air pressure. At this point, that was pretty much all we could do before making an attempt to get out. The front wheels weren't getting any traction. The rear passenger tire was bogged completely and Sandy wasn't going anywhere. We then decided to try pushing her in reverse. We're gonna go in reverse, okay? Go. Yeah, listos? Vámonos. Madre. Sandy was too far gone and the recovery boards couldn't be fitted properly in the rear tire. We were in need of a miracle. Right at that moment, a white Dodge Ram with Georgia license plates pulled up behind us. Erasmo, the driver, told me he was a Coastal GX subscriber from Georgia and came down to SPI to join me in the beach cleanup. He told me I drove past him at the beach as he was picking up trash. He decided to follow me just to say hello and never thought he'd find Sandy stuck all the way to the rock sliders. Call this a coincidence or karma, I choose to call it a miracle. All I know is that I was glad he was there to help us out. You're gonna try to do it to the front of us, Mom? What do you mean? You're gonna try to go forward or back? Yeah, okay. Erasmo suggested we should pull Sandy from the front. He is pretty handy with cars and told me vehicle recoveries in reverse should be avoided when possible to avoid potential damage. Another thing I realized was the difficulty opening my rear swing out door. Sandy was bottomed out and the mud made it impossible to access the cargo area. I carry my recovery gear in a Wolfpack box in the back and it was hard to access. I'm glad the GX has a rear window that opens up, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to reach my kinetic rope. I may just start carrying my recovery gear on the roof rack next time around. Erasmo would need to pull from a solid surface a few yards away. Luckily, we both carry a kinetic rope, a toe strap, and a soft shackle. We combine the recovery aids in order to gain the necessary length to make a safe extraction. Also, all of our vehicles have rated recovery points to yank them out safely. Good job, Trina. Suck it. Look how deep it was. No mama's way. No shit. It was like six oh, feet. Shit. Just take a look at how deep and nasty that rut was. The mud in that area is a special kind of ugly. No wonder Sandy wasn't going anywhere. Another thing to note is the ease of the recovery. Those kinetic ropes do most of the work and take it easy on your ride. Now that I was out, it was time to get Polo and his Chevy out. This time, it was Sandy's turn to put in work. Everybody ready? My goodness. Wow. Wowzers. So I got that family, Polo and his family. I just met them. I don't know these folks. And one of my subscribers, awesome Ed Osmo, who I've never met in person. I'm so glad he came out here. He's like, hey, I heard you were gonna go to a cleanup. He rolls up. Angel. All right. I know that sounds kind of weird, but no, dude. We were out here, both of us. Ugh, Sandy, poor baby. 
she's not used to this man she she's one of those girls that just likes the good life but sometimes she likes to slum it you know i don't know she's got a wild side and we are out here making it use the max tracks use a kinetic rope <laughs> use soft shackles used everything man and uh just to give you an idea because of the situation the terrain uh you know it was i think it would have been best if would have gotten off taken a few more steps and perhaps do a little recon of the area there to see where the solid ground was but check it out guys we made it man we are at the east cut walk, walk me through when you were coming in with your dodge over here and then you saw sandy or, or what did you think bro i seen like are they i like i thought that you guys were chit chatting i was like are you chit chatting over there they probably and i probably i like, stopped they probably i probably said I, I, they're probably trying to see if i'm gonna get stuck and they're gonna try to get me out and i'm like so i just got off and i just went and trying to you know like kind of like look at uh, look at all those ruts and all that mud see if i was gonna make it i was like yeah i'll be okay if not I asked the Sandy, I asked the Robert, he goes to the video, he can make a video out of it. You know, pues, Dios quiere, gracias a Dios, you know, just made it through and show, showed up where you guys were at. I thought you guys were like just chilling and, pues, estaba Sandy de ladito ahí. Y la otra, estaba, y, estaba triste. Yeah, estaba triste, pero nah, it's okay. El otro señor también, and, well, yeah. you know, that's the way it is. You gotta help each other out. Aquí la, así la raza, ¿sí? Yeah. You know, it is. Yeah, bro. I, I think I was so happy, man, when you showed up. And, like, if you could turn around and, like, see see those people. Right now we were talking about it. Look. Yeah. They, they turned around. They yeah. Even, that's a Jeep Gladiator. That's another one. They, they already turned around. They went back. They're not even going to try it. Yeah, there's people that are turning back right yeah, now. They're not, they're, they're not going to try it. Yeah. That's the two. Uh, there's another F-150, a white one. that I don't know if he's going to get stuck, but that's the turn first. So you might run into him over there. Yeah. You yeah. might have to get him out. Yeah. No, man. So... I'm just, I want to say big thanks to my friend over here at <laughs> man. And I'm sure the other family is super happy, bro. You kicked ass. Nah, Muchas gracias, man. It is what it, you know, hey, hay que hacerlo. Or else Sandy might still be out there right now. Yeah, that was a, it was a bad move, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I made it to the East Cut and continued with my mission to the Pins Cleanup. I then returned and decided to do a little fishing with Ed Osmo and his dog Blackie. After a while, it was time to head out, so I said goodbye to Polo and his family before setting off on my next adventure. Señora, ahí me le saluda a Polo y a la familia. Fue un placer conocerlos. Y qué bonita aventura, ¿verdad? Tengo con nadie. Bueno. Y estaba bien gacho, nos iban a comer los zancudos. <laughs> y yo que estoy bien dulce. <laughs> ¡Ah, nos vemos! So, now I just need to retrace my steps a little bit. And I can see that there's a black truck way over there. And uh, I'm just going to have to try to play it smart here. And not fall into the same trap as a little while ago. Man, what a what a terrible experience. Yeah, this is the part that did us in. So now I'm going to go way off over here in the grass, which is what I should have done in the first place instead of cutting it so close. That was not a good idea. Again. We are out, we are out. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and drop a friendly comment. 
I have many more real stories to share, so hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm a self-funded one-man band, so making these videos takes time and money. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead and visit us at coastalgx.bigcartel.com and order a UPF 50 fishing shirt with my logo. I also have gators and stickers available for purchase. Be safe and get up, get out, do something.